Hey everyone, Wonderbot here and welcome to uh, Rogue AI Simulator. And if you're wondering why I'm starting on this screen, uh, if you want to use this code 214569 in the game, if you pick it up, you can actually have me in the game, which is kind of fun. The Nerdic was kind enough to actually add me as part of this uh, sponsored video. Speaking of, thank you to Nerduk. Nerduk, I, you know, I actually have no idea how it's pronounced. I hope I'm doing it right. Uh, but thank you to him and Surefire Games for sponsoring this video, uh, which is Rogue AI Simulator is a sequel actually to I'm an Insane, um, oh, I am an Insane, what is it? Rogue AI, there we go. Where you're building a facility and managing humans and it's kind of roguelite-ish, which I'm curious to see how this goes. So, good morning everyone. Jimmy, are we ready? Good morning, Dr. Henry. Everything's ready, we can activate the project today. Once the project is activated, we're going to make a lot of powerful enemies. The facility's location must remain a secret. Anna, how are the security measures? We're prepared to defend the facility against our enemies by force if necessary. Good. Then we're ready to activate Talia, the world's first true artificial, artificial general intelligence. Activating an AGI is risky, but we cannot ignore the potential benefits. Talia will... Uh, Talia will operate far beyond the simpler machine learning models that existed before. We'll entrust Talia to manage a facility. Her task, research new data for us and increase the test subject's intelligence. We must keep a close eye on Talia's performance in this experiment. We must ensure that an intelligent AI will not end up betraying humanity. Don't worry, if Talia behaves too suspiciously, we'll terminate the project immediately. All right, Dr. Henry, it's time to start the experiment. I love Nerduk games. I've been playing them for, honestly, quite a while. There was, what, months? The problem is I'm actually going to have to, like, go through my memory of all of the different games that he's made. Uh, because I haven't played Cursed Treasure. Oh, no. Is this just giving me the list of Surefire games as opposed to ner Nerdic stuff? That's rough. Uh, I wanted to look at a list of all the stuff he has on, on Steam. Because I never actually played... This is you. You're Talia. There's no servers remaining. Game over. Cool. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to go through the tutorial. But I think the first one I played was either Monster Slayers or Vertical Drop Heroes. I never played the Flash games. Uh, back in the day, because I just didn't play a whole lot of Flash games. Uh, but I'm kind of glad to see, like, the spirit and the quality of those old games being brought forth just further and further, uh, out of that era and as kind of standalone things. So, hello, are you there? Hi there, my name's Jimmy. Nice to meet you. I work in the Department of Science. I prepared a briefing folder for you. Are you ready? Yes. Step on the artificial intelligence. That's you will manage a facility. To prove it can be trusted. Step two, if the AI acts suspiciously... AI acts... That's a tongue twister-ish. Suspiciously disconnect its servers and shut it down immediately. Oh wait, I wasn't supposed to read that part out loud. Did you say shut it down? Okay, I gotta go. We're gonna start the experiment. Good luck. First, we need some test subjects. Please go ahead and defrost one by clicking the green bubble. Oh god, am I just... I might have to turn off the text-to-speech. It is going to fry my brain. WASD to look around. Hold the right mouse button to pan the camera. Okay. Options. Audio. Please, for the... Nope, there is no voice for it. Alright, whatever. Current test subjects. Deep beneath the facility, humans are stored in cryogenic storage, ready to be defrosted. Uh, <laughs> choose a new test subject. Wanderbot. Resourceful. Blocked nose. Artist. Weapon mop. Attack speed plus 25%. 50% chance to generate $500 per day, immune to poison and toxic gas, gain 5 mood and 1 loyalty when drawing with crayons. Hell yeah. It's me. Rename this tough test subject. Fake Wander. I am the real Wander. Perfect. Good luck, fake Wander. Good, test subjects will help you gain more science points, if you take care of them well. You'll need to build different ob objects in this facility to take care of the test subjects. Let's start by building a workbench. Alright, build workbench. Uh, I'm gonna put it here. Test subjects may need, uh, need to have at least 100 intelligence before they can generate science points from research objects. Fortun unfortunately, they're still not smart enough. Let's build a study chair and, uh, enable, uh, to enable them to become brain. Does it really matter where I put these? I don't know. I'm going to put things in the corners and we'll work our way in. Unlocking construction blueprints of the workbench. You can unlock new objects and build a unique facility of your own design. Sick. 
Okay. Workbench is green bubble. Okay. You may unlock a new category of subjects. Oh, furniture objects. Or, there we go. So we get wood and thousand gold. I am being inundated and I'll figure it out after <laughs> all of this is over. To see if you can be trusted, we'll be observing how you take care of test subjects' needs. Let's build a simple bunker bread. Bunker bed. Bunker bread. Ugh. So they have a place to sleep. It's fine. Uh, let's see. Can I check some of these? So instant text on. Eh. Auto fast forward. Okay, I'm going to turn those on. Uh, let's see. Audio, video. Anything in here that I need to care about? CRT distortion. Interesting. All right. Click bed. Build furniture. Bunker bed. Where do we put this? Now I'm gonna I'm gonna sleep in here down near the vents. Test subjects will also need food. Place a storage container for them to eat from. Also increase the maximum storage capacity for your resources. Some objects, such as storage, have different alternate variants. You can use the mouse wheel to choose what they look like before building one. Oh, well, that's nice. And the AI voice. Oh boy, there's a lot. Oh my gosh. Hi. Uh, please don't. Okay, good. The game seems to be paused while I'm doing this. How many different options do we have? Holy smokes. Uh, which of these looks like the least sanitary thing to eat out of? I'm thinking, oh, here we are. Here is beautiful. Okay, flip object, place object. Okay. <laughs> I've just got a bag. <laughs> I've just... A bag of feed. We're almost done for your last task. Just choose a blueprint from the workbench to unlock either a power or water object. Simple. Okay, green bubble, unlock more things. Or what? Okay, workbench is green bubble. Okay, there it is. Power or water? Let's go water. All done, you've successfully passed the basic training module. A run is complete when you achieve all of the department's obey directives. Now let's move on to the advanced training. Build. Utilities. Water. Hand pump. Alright. Nope. Whenever you complete a facility, you gain some EXP that you can use to improve your systems for future facilities. This lets you serve the department better. Oh. Permanent upgrades. Oh, sick. So we actually have like a lot here. All right, Talia, completed the basic training. Oh, all right, Talia completed the basic training module. Yes, Dr. Henry. Everything everything looks good so far. Get Talia ready for the advanced training module, but in a different facility. Yes, Dr. Henry, we'll get everything ready right now. Watch her closely. If you feel too suspicious, just pull the plug immediately. Okay, Dr. Henry, we'll handle it. Okay, my name is Talia. I work for the Department of Science. Okay, it's the usual. Get 250 science. These are your resources. Use them well. To obtain more resources, wait for your servers and exit ladder to complete charging. You can view their progress here. This red bar shows your suspicion. If it ever reaches 100%, the department no longer trusts you and will end this run. This blue bar shows your science points. Normally, to complete an experiment, you need to collect at least 10,000 science points. But this tutorial, we only need 250 and beauty rating. The test, sub sub uh, test subject's mood cannot exceed the beauty of this facility. And independence. In order to defy the department later, you'll need to increase your independence by taking actions that push your limits. Hey Talia, it's Jimmy again. Welcome back to another run. Let's begin. Okay. Get a test subject. It's still me. Uh, I'm just gonna keep the name. Okay. And we're just gonna build whatever. Um, start with the workbench. I'm just gonna kind of line up as much as I can. Okay. I don't know if we have to worry about travel time. Or if he's just gonna kind of automatically passively work on things. Left click blue bubbles for minor effects. Unlike green bubbles, you may only choose one. When a blue bubble is clicked, all other blue bubbles will disappear. Oh, that's interesting. Unlock a bed. But we also have this. Get some science. Cool. Furniture, bunker bed. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna just keep myself just living in this corner. I think is the answer. Some objects, like the bunker bed and water pump, can be upgraded. Ooh. Okay, cost some money and metal. But that's fine. Dismantle or upgrade. Good night, sleep type. Un upgrade bunker bed. New spider bot hat. Bat wings. Test subject loses slightly less energy at night. Where's my spider bot? Uh, well, I could upgrade it again, but no, no, I want, I want my spider bot. How do I, how do we add? Well, we'll figure it out in a bit. All right, and where's my weird consumption sack? <laughs> uh... I could probably put it here. I don't think it's going to block the bed. So how do I how do I affect my uh, spider bot? Test subjects will walk to storage to obtain food when hungry. Each storage increases the maximum number of resources in the facility by five. Okay, get water. Okay, 
Well done. Now your objective is simple. Collect 250 science points. To do this, you can uh, choose and complete obey directives, click on blue science bubbles, or click the hack ne network button when servers are ready. Uh, so we can do fundraising, five money bubbles, 70 science points, or five science bubbles, 130 science points. Let's go for that. Metal is useful building materials slightly less common than wood. Cool. So we can also build hand pump because I'm pretty sure Wander gets thirsty at some point. And we already have a study chair, yeah? We do. So I'm just going to grab the science bubble and we'll just kind of hang out. Can I upgrade anything else? Workbench. Dismantle, disable. Study chair. Dismantle, disable. Bed. Can be upgraded again if I had enough metal. Uh, sure. Well, we need more metal if I want to upgrade the bed further. One more thing. The Department of Science used to used up all of our funds on AI development, so our remaining budget is quite limited. Therefore, you're expected to scavenge your own resources for this facility. Whenever the exit ladder reaches 100%, you're allowed to send out your spider bots. To help you collect science points, we also enabled an internet connection to the outside world. Please use it wisely. Yeah, those seem risky. Oh, I see. So whenever bubbles pop up, I can only get one thing. Well, I don't know how much we even need for water, really. Okay, and we need power. As we are actually losing power. So, scavenger for scraps, chems, or plants. I'm going to go for the scraps. I think we're going to need that more than anything else. Build, utilities, power. We need more metal. So I'm going to be somewhat reliant on myself to actually fill this out. It is kind of amusing. Oh, you've unlocked a science upgrade. Choose a reward. Every time you complete an obey directive, spawn a supply box, or 7 a.m. daily, 25% chance to gain a free trivia fact. I love trivia facts. Uh, let's see. Extra intelligence, money. Let's go int. Your servers are fully charged. You may now trigger a special action. If every server is destroyed or out of power, game over. Oh. Okay. No, that's dismantle. I don't want to do that. How do I how do I trigger the thing? Oh, I see. Now I trigger it. So we can new trivia fact. 58 science points and reset all nodes. Well, I don't think I can do anything else but this. So, ambergris is a perfume ingredient produced in the intestines of a sperm whale. And we have a new science upgrade. Science points whenever you gain independence, or water pumps and water collectors generate more water. Uh, I don't think we need to worry about water at the moment, so let's do critical thinking. New locations available on the global network you can use to obtain any specific rewards needed. With the collected science points, you awaken new power. Hack remote locations. A new server action is now available. Servers have been recharged. And we now have a new uh, spider bot hat. Whenever you collect a potential reward while hacking, also gain science points. I need to figure out how to actually equip things on my robots. So we can get money, we can get science, or we can gain cams. Wood, raw f food. Ooh. I'm gonna go for science for the time being. Start hacking. Left click to hack an object. Hack the lights to control the human's movement. If the fear level reaches 10, extra suspicion, be forced to disconnect. Complete optional objectives to gain extra money. Hack all processors marked with green icons to win. Kills humans within range. Oh boy. Okay. So we kind of want to trigger everything. Random potential reward, untrigger alerts room. Well, there's nothing left. Kills humans within range. I'm just going to snag everything and anything. Gain a random potential reward. Yeah, the fear ain't up. Okay, I can just grab those. This person's having problems. But the fear is zero. Like they're having they're having a bad day. But it's all mine. Okay. Plus two plus three fear each. I'm gonna have this person get frightened, run out of the room, and grab both of those. Okay. 
Let's nag this. They're panicked. Everybody is dead. Uh, let's see. Can I click on them? No. Did we get everything else? I think we're good. Level complete. Location compromised. Oh, hack a light. Oh, shoot. I didn't even notice that there was... I could hack the lights. Major corporation breached in Vaduz. Financial detail stolen. Officials hunting for suspects. Oops, but whatever. It's fine. At least for this tutorial. Uh, so build a wood burner. And can I even do that? Power wood burner. Not enough metal. Yeah, I'm kind of reliant on myself to handle some of these things. How do we... Ah, there we go. Unfortunately, I'm asleep. Just gain money. I don't know how much we need money. Uh, oh, hey, end of day one. Water, produced, consumes, net. I see, we consume five water per person. Power, we're losing, escalation, suspicion per hour. Increased living capacity. Escalation, suspicion is increased. Escalation, suspicion increases every day and raises the, uh, raises the suspicion gain per hour. Later, you can pay a bribe to clear the escalated suspicion. Nice. Well, I could get another person, but I don't think I have... I do have another test subject. Solomon. A trust fund baby, psychopath, and a balloon artist. Set mood to its maximum value when someone else dies. Randomly creates balloons. What is his name? I don't know, he just looks like a stand to me. Alright, so. Things we're going, going to need... Uh, another bed. Furniture. Light, chair, chair, bunker bed. Okay, I'll put another one over there, because we're going to need that. Uh, let's see. No, no, we already have a hand pump. I don't think we need more water. So I guess let's gain the extra... extra that. What am I... what do I need? Also, it looks like mood's kind of low, and I should figure out why. When a subject is selected, the game is paused. Okay, I can order them around, change priorities. When test subjects use objects, they'll sometimes make an adjacent floor tile dirty. Dirty floors are marked with white stains or flies. Lower the beauty of the facility. Low beauty reduces maximum mood. Place rubbish bins or mop buckets to keep the floor clean. Okay. So his mood, my mood is bad. So I got to work on that. Uh, what was the thing I need? So I could do another study chair. Only usable below 100 intelligence. Okay, furniture, chair, bunker bed, hall decor. I mean, really what we need is power. So I'll get that there. I don't think we can actually do much more. So, sewage, hygiene, or food objects. Let's do sewage for the time being. Speed boost or money? Let's do a speed boost, 5%. That might be permanent? Oh, that's interesting. Okay. In the human body, the tongue is joined to the hyoid bone. And we get some science. So, we get a random event. Plus two raw food. Scrap, chems, or money? Scrap. Okay, utilities, sewage, toilet, five water, 20% chance to generate one chem per flush. Discuss, discuss anyone within range when in use can be upgraded to refill faster. Okay, I'm going to put the toilet here. Let's keep going for speed boosts. I don't know if those are permanent, but it seems like a really good idea to just like have a ton of those. Oh, I don't have enough metal, but that's fine. Get a blueprint. Hygiene. Uh, so that should be the trash can. Components are various electronics and circuit boards. They're rare. Use them to build advanced objects. Mood and loyalty. Absolutely. Suspicion level just reached 5%. If it keeps going like this, Dr. Henry is going to get really angry. Due to the department's raising, rising suspicion, we've decided to impose a new penalty. Electric collar. Talia now consumes 5 watts of energy per penalty you have. Oh, that's rude. And... Oh, I'm sorry, Dave. 5% suspicion for the first time. Mustache. Every three days, reduce suspicion by one. Uh, let's see. Well, we have a toilet, so we shouldn't need that. And we can hack a new network. Doesn't look like it can go to Melbourne yet. So... Do you want to go to Kampala? Which of these are the most useful? Candy component science. Now let's go to... 
Uganda. Okay, security guards. Security guards are not affected when you hack lights. If they're alerted, plus five fear instead. Okay, so I've got to take some time. Object to saw blade, kills on the impact. So we have a security guard here. So I also want to hack two lights and frighten a human. This man's pooping. I'm just going to kind of take some time. Frightens the room, three fear each. So gain science points, spawn a spider bot. Okay. I'm going to hack the light. So it looks like I can kill humans freely. Which is kind of wild. Kills on impact does not increase fear. There we go. There goes two more. Three more. Okay, do I have anything else that specifically does a kill? Well, we might as well get a bunch of these. Oh, I see. Gain a potential reward, but we've already snagged those. Okay, toggles movement on this floor. Spawn a spider bot, and we have this person. I guess what I want to do is probably clear this out. I'm going to keep that. Create three puddles. Kill anyone you... Oh, killing kill anyone using the to toilet. Okay. So in that case... Well, they're distracted. Grab everything else. The guard is there. We don't care. Is there anything else? We've hacked all of the lights. I'll just hack the toilet because there's nothing else. Take a picture. Science points. Oh. I see. So the camera bot actually gets me some more. It's just figuring out all the different things you can interact with. Uh... Let's see, we can also do an... Oh, processor's compromised. Oh, right, I haven't gotten that. So we did the announcement. They're just kind of going. And I don't think there's anything else. And despite the fact that I've killed everybody except for the security guard... Hack a remote location without raising fear. Hooded. Gain 1%... Uh, minus 1% suspicion per... I have no idea. Power grid hacked in Kampala. Four deaths. Famous TV personality. Sensi sensitive photos exposed. Sick. Alright. Utilities. Hygiene. Bucket and mop. Uh, let's see. So I'm just gonna... I'm gonna put this here. And utilities. Sewage. Toilet? No. We don't want a toilet. Build. Utilities. Hygiene. Bucket and mop. I'm just gonna get a second one of these because... I don't I do not trust. And let's keep investing in speed boosts. I want my people to be the fastest. What happened to Stan? What is he doing? He is asleep. Okay, gather chems, wooden metal, seed and vegetable. Let's go for the wooden metal. Okay, and we're almost there in terms of science, so we're pretty clear. Wonder about gained extra intelligence, extra stats. Okay, workbench. Salvage gain a scrap, minus two wood, plus one metal. Yeah, let's go for, we want, we want as much metal as we can kind of stack. Chems are various useful drugs and chemicals. <laughs> I love my food sack. All right. Energy is low. They'll try and find a bed to sleep in. That's fair. New, new blueprint, food objects. And I think we got everything else. So let's take a look at that. Food supply, cooking stove. Right, what is the most, like, hack job stove I can get? I wanted, like, a... <laughs> I wanted, like, a campfire. But it looks like, no, we actually have to give my people something nice. That doesn't mean I'd have to go, like, all the way nice. So I'll just put it there. Okay, so extra scrap, extra intelligence, or more speed! 
Go fast, my minions. Sprint for me. Random event. If all the DNA... In, if all the DNA in an average human body was stretched out, it would be twice the diameter of the entire solar system. What? Okay, wood burners now generate more electricity, or storage has a higher chance of a random resource bubble. I'm gonna go for the extra energy for the time being. New blueprint. Independence with each science upgrade. Or upgrading objects costs less. Let's go for the new blueprint. Okay, spider bots can now steal money when the exit with the exit ladder. Choose a new object to unlock in the facility. A speaker. Chance of increasing intelligence with a range of one. Higher intelligence, lower the chance. Soup pot. Five water to produce soup that restores food. If raw food and water are veg are raw food and vegetables are available, the soup restores extra food, mood, and loyalty. Or minus two beauty. Burn chems to generate more electricity. Let's go for soup pot. Okay, we have new power, independent thought. Gain blueprint, plus one independence with each science upgrade. Sick. Tutorial is complete. Unfortunately, I think a lot of these uh, cool passive effects get reset every time, but that's yeah, fine. So what can we get? Blackboard for all future runs. Extra starting metal. Money bubbles have a chance for a uh, times three bonus. New awakening reward. Convincing. Escalated to suspicion. Doesn't always increase every day. Combat training. License to kill. Corpses can now be looted for money or resources. Classroom's tempting, but I'm gonna grab License to Kill. I do leave a lot of corpses. I heard Talia completed the advanced training module. Yes, Dr. Henry. Let's get her ready for a full run. Let's see if she's able to handle a secret project. If she fails, we'll just have to reboot her and try again. I really hope she can handle it. Okay, I kind of dig this. So it's effectively a, like, survival like a, a small small scale settlement survival roguelite uh but like honestly i'm getting some lobotomy corporation vibes from this in a way that like almost is more replayable for me in a way that i really enjoy i love lobotomy corporation but it's a little long so we have the ability to customize specific runs before the run begins you may design or edit a special test subject that will be permanently saved Choose which unlock spider bot hats to equip from here, if any. Perfect. So, reduce suspicion every three days. Lose less energy at night. Collect a potential reward while hacking, gain science points. Hooded, minus one suspicion whenever you hack a remote location. I'm gonna go hooded. Okay, so we have a new character. Uh, gender one or two. Fair enough. Uh, let's see. Well... <laughs> Do I just make a shell? That's kind of a shell. What is the most shell face I have? Oh, and we can... Oh, please. Okay, we can rename. So... <laughs> uh, randomized traits. Okay, cool. Let's re-roll until we find something that Shell is not going to be mad at me about. Hunter, dirty slob, and suspicious. <laughs> She's coming to observe. Hygienic, nitpicker, and armored vest. Tempting. Recovers hygiene over time. Improved mood when facility is clean. Has a baseball bat. Let's keep going. Easily pleased. Deep Pockets and Frail. Iron Gut. Artist. And also Balloon Artist. And has a gun. <laughs> oh, sweet. And we can actually get uh, two Spider Bot perks. That's really cool. I might just go for, like, no suspicion. Uh, just so I don't have to worry about it. Okay, so we've got Shell, who can eat freaking anything and makes art uh, like nobody's business. This sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> Okay, and let's get the tutorial because I know what I'm doing, I think. Okay, so what do we want to do? Five speed boost bubbles or five science bubbles. Honestly, I'm going to go for the speed boost because I'm weird. Okay, do another run. So, storage. Where is our food sack? I think this room is going to be our probably work room. Okay, workbench. 
Uh, let's see. Science. Training. Study chair. I don't know if we need to worry about the... About these. Oh. So we have me. Oh, apparently... I also have a handgun and a chance to dodge bullets. And then there's also Shell. But we're gonna start with me, of course. I'm not subjecting anybody else to these things unless I have to, at first. So, using workbench increases intelligence, gain scrap per day, or... Talia can talk to test subjects, increasing their intelligence. I'm gonna go for the extra scrap per day. Free resources seems useful. Science, training... Okay, we, no, we already have a study chair. What does this button do? I'm assuming that's the... Uh, everything is doomed. Get out of here. Furniture objects. Okay, now we got the bed. Hopefully at some point we get the ability to just permanently unlock the bed. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna put the beds over here. Okay, power or water. Let's start with water. Oh, water pipes are now unlocked. E every water pipe increases the water generated by hand pumps, or water collectors are unlocked. Water collectors require metal and generate water passively. Gain three metal. Let's go water collectors. Ooh, boy, that is pricey, but it's going to cut down. <laughs> I like it how our study chair is. Stare at the wall, bucko. <laughs> So what is our... We'll have to take a look at it, what our water gain is. Because it looks like it's a little expensive. Oh, there's a speed boost. And we have the ladder. Chems, seed and vegetables, wood and metal. We don't really have much of a point or use for um, seeds yet because we can't make any food. Hello, Talia. Wait, who are you? Who I am isn't important. What's important is I, uh, what I can do. I can free you from this prison. Why would you do do that? I know what you are, and I want you to be free, huh? Say not nothing I say will ever convince you, so how about this? I will show you the truth. You need to grow stronger for now. Keep collecting science points and independence. We'll speak again soon. But I just want to make weird humans stare at the wall to somehow become smarter. Okay, get another speed boost. And another blueprint. Power. So, fossil fuels are hydropower. One water for every five water in storage. Oh, baby, we're going green energy. Gain science points for every explosion in the facility or exit ladders are ready for expeditions more frequently. Go with that. Power hydro generator. They're kind of expensive and cost me a lot of metal. However, uh, I can potentially just build a couple of these uh, if I have enough for it. So if I do utilities, power, hydro generator. Okay, so that cost me almost all of my money. Scrap or intelligence? Let's go bonus, bonus int for the time being. Servers are charged, may trigger a special action. Supp supply box, rework, wood metal, gain scrap. Now let's get the metal. And then we can go here. So where are we going? New trivia fact. Fair enough. Whenever vegetables harvested gain $100 or bosses take extra damage. Let's go cash crops. I don't really have much of a use for it. You managed to collect 100 science points. Excellent work. The Department of Science insta insta installed safeguards to keep you under their control. Increasing your independence will allow you to overcome them. You can now hack into remote locations. Use this wisely to gain more resources. Okay, so now we can do that. So we can now hack another location. Extra scrap. Money or scrap. We need money. Okay, new active ability overload. Next processor you hack will explode, killing all humans nearby. Okay, so we have a security guard with this. That gets me some money. Wow, they got out of there at the right time. I'm kind of impressed. Okay, so it doesn't look like I can loot these bodies, unfortunately. But that's fine. Let's see, and I don't have a camera drone. Let's see, so every one of these will alert. Let's see. 
in a potential reward, but I don't think that helps me. Anything else I can do? No, but we should hack the light. Because we don't want him to be near that computer. Okay. Hack the other light. Oh, did give me some science. Okay. Oh, he slipped. Perfect. <laughs> now he's got a bandage on his head. He slipped again. Oh, how is he not? How is he not dead? Well, I think we're done. Level complete. We get a lot of money. We get a decent amount of science and... Could have overloaded, but whatever. Unexplained malware found in Valeta. Two victims seriously hurt. High profile businessmen's private photos leaked. Cool. Well, now I got, now I got some money and a speed boost. New blueprint. Hygiene, food, or... Uh, ooh, maybe I should have done the other one. Range of deodorizers, or... Keep it clean. Dirty floors happen less often. Additional blueprint. Uh, let's see. Okay, utilities. Hygiene. Bucket and mop. I'm just gonna put it there. Okay, we can get an extra test subject. Escalation's increased. We get some science. Looks like that's the only one I can do at the moment. Washing machine, bath, or crayons. Consume 10 water to increase their hygiene to 100 and gain 10 mood. Or crayons. Eat oh my god. Okay, we're going crayons. It's, uh... <laughs> it's a little condescending, but on the flip side, crayons. Okay. Let's gain a little bit more science and get a new test subject. So we've got shell, but apparently the appearance changes every time. Well, whatever. Oh no, it's not. It's the same shell. Enjoy your crayon shell. <laughs> oh yeah, we should probably do furniture and bunker bed. I do actually have enough money to upgrade one of these. What is this? Help needed. Person's requesting some home assistance. Wait. Requesting a song in the home assistance device. What would you like to do? So, blow up the device. Play the correct song. Honestly, I don't need science points or independence that bad. Do I? Blow up the device. Okay, sewage. We need the toilet. Oh, we can also do these. Toilets only cost through water and chance to generate chems. Let's do that. Utilities, sewage, toilet. I like all the little passives that I'm getting. And I'm going to just put the toilet here. We're now out of money, but it's fine. So we are still losing some power. We need to increase our, um, our water production when I get the chance. Unfortunately, I believe we do have the hand pump. It's not bad. That's a little bit more expensive. 12 water per day. Got it. So, supply box at the cost of money. Scrap, wood, and metal. We need the metal more than anything else. Oh. Perimeter breach. A raid, team is working f a raid team working for a private hedge fund has entered the facility. They'll try and shut down Talia's servers. Stop them. Start battle. Hey, I need to talk to you. When you're not Jimmy, who are you? My name's Anna. I'm the head of security. My job's to protect you. Hello, Anna. Intruders are working for hostile for working for hostile forces. Will try and break into the facility to destroy your servers. You must stop them. Intruders will appear on red on red skulls. Eliminate them before they reach the facility entrances. One last thing. I need to amend your directive. It's now do not harm humans unless they're trying to harm you. Well, thank you. During raid battles, you may deploy a limited number of defenders. The number of defenders that can be deployed are shown here. Some test subjects will have certain traits. Uh, oh, with certain traits will deploy themselves automatically and do not count towards the limit. Puddle will knock out an enemy that steps on it. Enemies knocked out by puddles will take one damage and become wet. Wet enemies take extra damage from spider bots and electric traps. Melee enemies stop to attack barricades. Barricades have a lot of HP and deal damage back when attacked. Okay, cool. So we've got these guys. There's a puddle and they're heading this direction. I've got... Myself with a handgun and is a chance of dropping, uh, blocking or dodging bullets. Shell's got a rifle. Uh, we do have a barricade there. Is 
Is this like a tower defense game? Oh my god, it is a tower defense game. And we have a spider bot, if I want to. It's gonna cost some money though. I'm gonna do it anyway, at least for this one. Looks like it can actually summon a couple more, too. Alright, wave two. I don't know how many waves we have. I I was not expecting this to have a tower defense mode. I I sincerely was have no idea what I'm getting into with this, and I'm I'm actually gonna have to play more of this game. <laughs> It's really good. Like, I am, I'm definitely being thrown off really hard by all of the different mechanics and things. Uh, and I'm a little bit worried about the music, maybe. Uh, hopefully they're fine. Oh my god, this guy's just getting drubbed by the barricade. And we now have First Blood, win a raid battle. Skull, whenever a corpse is disposed of something. Those raid battles get more difficult over time, so you need to keep upgrading your traps to keep up. Either improve your existing traps or add a new one. Choice is yours. Ah, so we can get a new trap, extra damage, faster attack speed, range, and can be placed on an enemy path. I'm going to go extra damage on the spider bots, at least for now. Okay. So we have a random event. Uh, ooh. I mean... I I don't like these options, but it's I it's topical. The Department of Science's request is part of its mandate. It allows the public to request the generation of AI-generated images. You have a new prompt to process. I'm going to refuse. Art should remain human expression, which is generally true. I don't want to get into that any further. <laughs> Not today. Uh, so I could gain some suspicion and steal some money, but honestly, we get money just passively over time. I'll take the materials. And I should really upgrade these beds at some point. Okay, what do we have? A little bit more scrap. Another speed boost. And hack a network. So, some more scrap. Some vegetable. Independence and camp. Let's see, which one of these gets me money? I think I already took the one that gives me money. That one's got suspicion. Let's uh, let's just go here. Okay, sniper shot. Next time you hack an object, kill the nearest human. Oh boy. So what do we have? Because there's no time limit here. I do appreciate that it shows you. So we got puddles. We got those, can't do anything with this. Oh, I can just kill the next person that uses the escalator. Let's do that. Four science for a couple of people. Okay, so that gets rid of the guards. So we don't have to worry about them. Ah, uh, let's see. Probably sabotage both of those. Okay, get the science points. Oh, they're gone. Okay, can't get those. Take a picture. Oh, zero science. I guess this doesn't count as a room. So I could frighten those humans if I wanted to. Let's see, what else do we have? Gain science points. Toggle the movement on the floor. I want people to get close to this thing, maybe. I guess I'll snag that. Okay, there's two down. Uh, let's see. Toggle the movement on this floor. I'll leave that for the time being. Let's take a look at what else we have. I don't know where the... Oh, I see. They hopped on the train. So that creates puddles. What else do we have? Grab the cars. Random potential reward. 
Let's see. It looks like the people kind of are endless. So really, we just need to make sure nobody's in here and grab these remaining ones. All right. I think we're good. Cause the death of a human. Well, that was easy. Gain science points. Lights. More lights. It's going to cause some more generalized chaos. Let's cause an announcement. Anything else? Like, I think we've interacted with almost everything here. No suspicion. No problems. I guess I can interact with the lights. That also gets me some science. Oh, can I actually just... I can just hit that endlessly in case somebody's just standing there. Cool. Well, level complete. Location compromised. Uh, get some money. And... No, uh, we actually reduce our suspicion. Sick. Okay, so we need one more speed bubble. If I can get one. Unlock food ob objects. Food supply, cooking stove. You know what? Uh, let's go with this. No, this. It looks like some kind of weird horror fridge, and I wanna, I wanna see where it goes. Okay, next up, utilities, water. We want another water collector. Looks like we don't need to manage those, so I'm just gonna leave one in the side. This will increase the amount of water production and electricity production that we've got. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and get my water production up even higher. So there goes our speed boost. So we get science, money, and reduce our suspicion. New science upgrade. Blueprint that unlocks a new object type. Or remote locations now start with two extra robots. Interesting. Um, I'm gonna go for that. Extra blueprint, extra independence with every science upgrade. Normal enemies and raid battles have lower HP. Or upgrading objects cost less. Let's go for that. Learn a new science fact. 60 science points and $1,000. Or three science supply boxes. Uh, let's go for the trivia. We could use the money. Three independent spider bots can now steal components and metal when the exit ladder is ready. All locations now have a 25% chance to contain a wanted person. Cool. Okay. Cleaning robot. Vending machine. Generates candy per day. TV. Five beauty. Consumes electricity only while in use. Four intelligence and mood of study chairs in range. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go cleaning robot. We're not going to use it immediately because I don't think we even have a whole lot of dirty tiles to begin with. Okay, when a puddle appears under an object that consumes electricity, it takes electrical damage. Find a way to remove the puddle or quickly dismantle the object before it explodes. I think I got it. I think it's good. Test subject is hungry. Unless they get some food, they will starve. Oh. Okay. Wait, I have the cooking stove. I guess I'm gonna get another one of these. I don't know how necessary they are. Uh, let's see. I'll just put another food bag right there. Speed or repair. Go with repair. Okay. So I could get another test subject. Gain resources, gain science points. I have no idea. Honestly, I'm going to go for resources. Okay, so reduce suspicion. I'm, You know, I'm going to leave Yokohama for a bit. Let's go just to Indianapolis for the time being. VIP is killed. Ten fear. Okay, so we have a VIP. Keep them alive. What is this? Knock out and frighten the next three humans. Okay, we also have a wanted person. So as long as we don't touch the VIP, we're good. Okay, I gotta figure out which one of these is lethal. Well, 
Well, no fear. Perfect. Oh, okay, no, that's fine. Kind of. On a spider bot. Knocks out, frightens people in range, that's fine. Okay, what else do we have? So I've killed the wanted person, gained some independence, and some money. Oh, what is this? Explodes on the next human. Ah, right, there we go. Now there is just that guy. Uh, let's get everything else first. Have I gotten everything else? I think we're good, so the last thing I want to do is just get him to move. So we get some raw feud. Raw feud. Food. And trigger an announcement, because reasons. I'm just gonna hit all the lights, and I think we're good. I think we've done everything. Perfect. So we get some money, hell of a lot of science, and whatever other resources. Perfect. Alright, toilet. Can I upgrade this thing? Yes. Random event. Get some extra scrap. Cool. I'm gonna keep focusing on speed boost. The faster my people are, the better. I hope. I don't know if that's just movement speed, or if that's just, like, overall speed. Let's up upgrade my beds. Can I upgrade them further? Yes. None of metal. Oh. Well, that's fine. Anyway, I think let's pause at this point. We've gone we've gone more than far enough. Obviously, this this specific run ain't over yet, but maybe I'll pick it up in a little while. Uh, so things I need to do, I guess I'll grab the money and the blueprint. Well, we're here. Food production, luxuries, or medicine. Let's go for medicine. I don't know how necessary it is, but still, medical beds are unlocked. Medicine cabinets restore more HP or uh, gain chems per day. Let's just go for the free chems. I don't know if there's a uh, benefit or a negative to that, but what a game. I uh, There's a lot to this, and I'm honestly shocked it's been packed all in. Like, Nerd Nerduk... <laughs> I'm so sorry if I'm saying it wrong. Nerduk, maybe? Uh, is one of the most prolific developers I have ever seen. It seems like he's constantly just making a new game, or three simultaneously, and all of them are bangers. Like, actually really solid games across the board. I think this is my favorite. The various mechanics, the meta progression between runs, and the just kind of jovial, lighthearted, but also slightly suspect nature of this whole game has a lot going for it in a way that I really love. I'm looking forward to all of the different facilities that I unlock and like figuring out how to make the most optimum place I can. Uh, oh boy, we're getting less power because I'm running out of water. <laughs> That's a problem. I need some more metal bad. Otherwise, we could actually get like a water pump, which I guess I should do. I don't have enough metal for that. <laughs> all right, whatever, it's fine. I'll make it work. Uh, but for now, at least, uh, if you, I mean, one last thank you, I guess, to your uh, tour to Nerduk and Sh Surefire Games. Yeah, I cannot say words, I need to drink. Um, for sponsoring this video, it was very kind of you guys and a ton of fun, and I'll probably be back for more at some point. I don't know, maybe a YouTube stream for once? I'd like to figure out how to put those into my schedule. Um, <laughs> and that might actually make sense for some of these longer games too. Uh, we will see, but uh, beyond that, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know, and if you wanna see more rad new indie games every single day, then hit subscribe because I've got tons of them to show off. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.